Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I'm doing a gorgeous alcohol ink and resin bowl. To start off with, I am using a 14 inch silicone mold. It's in a flower shape and you can get this from Amazon. And the inks that I'm using are primarily Ranger alcohol inks, but I am also using a couple pinata colors, which are white and gold. And I like to use Ranger alcohol inks for this technique because I think they just work better, but feel free to try other alcohol inks. This is just what I prefer. And I will be using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. Now I'm making my design right in the mold here without anything in it first. So there's no resin down yet or anything. I'm just going straight onto the mold. I wanted to go with primarily warmer colors, so I'm using reds and pinks. And I added just a little bit of blue to have kind of a pop of color, and then the white and gold. What pattern you do is not really important. You can use whatever design you'd like. But what is important is to mix up your resin before you start your design with the alcohol inks because you want to have it ready to go so that you can pour it immediately once you're done with your design. The alcohol inks dry very quickly and when they dry, this technique doesn't work nearly as well. So once I'm done with my design, I like to pour my resin right into the middle of the mold very slowly and let that kind of push those colors out as you can see here. And that creates a gorgeous kind of tie-dye look. Now don't try to pour it all at once. Resin is self-leveling, so I like to pour it let it sit for a second and then I'll add some more just to make sure I don't overdo it. Another really important thing is I'm not filling this mold up all the way. If you filled it up all the way, it would be definitely too thick and it would be hard to form into a bowl and you could run into issues with the resin actually cracking as you're trying to mold it into the bowl. So this is filled up maybe about halfway. Once I've got my resin in there, I use the heat gun to not only help kind of just push it to the edges as needed, but also to get rid of air bubbles. And this can also help blend any colors if you'd like. Not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to use that, but I like to use the heat gun. And another tool I use for the air bubbles is some 91% isopropyl alcohol. So once you're done, just spritz that on there. And I also like to wait about 15 minutes and then come back and spritz it with that alcohol again just to get any other air bubbles that came up. Now on this, I decided to take a stick and pull some of that color from the outside to the inside. In retrospect, I really don't think that this made any difference whatsoever and you could absolutely skip this step. I just wanted to try it to see if I could um, maybe get a little bit better design but it didn't make too much of a difference. And either way, I'm still very, really happy with how it came out. But I left this in here because it's just something that I tried out. Now, of course, using the stick enters in more air bubbles. So make sure you remove those afterwards. Now, normally I would let this sit for about six hours and then demold it and shape it into my bowl. Unfortunately, in this case, after about six hours, it wasn't ready to be demolded. Um, I think it's just been really cold recently, so things are taking a little bit longer to cure, and I did not have more time to wait. I actually had to go to bed, so I decided to try something that I hadn't tried before and just leave it in the mold and put it right into my bowl like this. And I shaped it the best I could. I weighed it down with a bottle of resin, and then I came back the next day and this actually surprisingly worked quite well. So I let that cure overnight and then the next day it was really easy to pop out of the plastic bowl and to demold. And by the way, this is a 100 ounce plastic bowl from Amazon. It's about 11 inches across and I found it to be a great size for these bowls. So I was able to demold this very easily and now I have this gorgeous bowl. <laughs> So here's how this looks complete. I am in love with it. I hope you guys like it too. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. And I will see you all next time. 